Hi guys, how you guys doing? Today is a big item, therefore I need to make use of this long arm phone holder. Alright, and then uh, I've made a video out of this uh, long arm phone, phone holder before. You guys can watch it if you haven't done so. Alright, let's go. Alright, so basically this is the budget 3D printer. Uh, this is the controller and this is the main printer itself this is the xy axis and this can be taken out it's only secured by two long screw over here so uh, you can just uh, push it in secure with two long screw and just connect this uh, connector together and that's it and this is for the filament and you need this uh, magnetic bit for the printing all right you just uh, need to put it in all right it's that easy this is for the TF card, right? It's given one. Uh, we are given one TF TF card, and this is to connect to your PC or laptop. Uh, this is the power supply, all right. So we're now going to uh, set up this printer. It's very easy. Once you on the power and you press the home button on the controller over here, all right. The home button is over here. Then you just um, wait for the printer. The printer head to go down this is the home position so what you need to do is to off the power and use a a4 paper to make sure that this four end is equally uh, balanced All right you can move this so you can slot this a4 paper in if let's say this uh this printer head and the paper uh, you can't take it out means uh, it's too tight so you need to uh, tighten this in a clockwise direction to, to make this uh, narrower yeah this gap narrower so you have much more space so uh, the main point is to have a little friction between this paper head uh, this printer head and the paper all right it's easy and this applies to this four end so you can move about this to the next point and then uh, this you can move all right to the next point four point all right when you power on the this uh, printer you can just slot this uh, filament in and then you need to press the plus sign over here i'll show you how you uh, how you fit the filament and if you want to retract uh, take out this filament you just need to uh, press the minus sign here and wait for a while then you can slowly pull out this filament all right so basically what we are using is the easy wear software uh, given by the manufacturer so you can change this to english over here then uh, you select the x1 x2 then this uh, filament pla all right then you need to uh, download some stl file Okay, right now we have download a uh, uh, STL file over here, but uh, as you can see, the item is too big. All right, so this printer can only allow for printing item of up to ten by ten by ten centimeter. All right, if it's too big, uh, you become red color over here. So we need to rescale. So just double click on the item, double click, and choose the rescaling. All right, this is the rescale. So from here, you can actually change the scale of the item. All right, currently it's 45. So it's in a blue color, meaning uh, it can print out this item. You can view this, the front, I mean the top, the front and the side view. All right. And once you are satisfied with this uh, item, you can start slicing this item to become a G-code so that the printer will recognize and print out the item. So you can go here, this is, uh, you can choose fast, standard or customized. So let's say you want a fast, all right, completed. And you can just save this to your TF card and move it to the printer and print it, all right? So this is for you to see how it print out step by step, all right? So if you want a custom, there's also a custom option. So you can choose the temperature, the support, and then uh, how you want it to be, the diameter and all that. So once you're satisfied, start slicing. 
all right then you can save it to your sd card it's that simple all right So let me show you some artifact printed up from this printer. All right, this hour is quite nice. It's using a quite a good quality of filament. And then uh, this is the dragon, right? You need a bit of fouling here and there, right? And this is the little dragon over here, little dragon. So you can see. You can uh, actually use the file, a round file, to uh, make it much more perfect. All right, and then uh, let me show you the. <laughs> this is the much more lousy quality of filament, so there's some uh, gap over here, so it's not so nice. All right, as you can see. And for the uh, original filament it give me, uh, I find it's quite smooth. This is supposed to be a vase, but uh, due to the wrong setting, it actually fill up this uh, the whole thing. Okay. All right. This is quite smooth. Doesn't need any uh, touch up. And let me show you this one. This is a 20% wood filament, so it will not be so perfect because this is just a budget printer, but I'm still satisfied with uh, the, the, this uh, final product, all right? It's quite nice. And this is final, the, the finally, this is the PUBG, the pen, right? It's supposed to be a keychain, uh, but the wording can't be seen. I'm not sure is it due to the foul or you know it's, it's not really nice this one all right okay that's all for today so after fouling uh, you need some uh, this desktop vacuum to clean it up I've made a video out of this uh, mini desktop cleaner all right you guys can watch it if you haven't done so and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye. Bye.